TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. As you may know, I'm fully diving into football. Fully, fully. And that means on the gaming side, too. I got my PC. I got my dual monitor set up. I got the PS5. And EA's FC25 is coming out September 27th. And this will be my first time <sighs> try hard in the game, man. I'm not even going to lie. I am a gamer. Y'all don't know that. But <coughs> let's take a look at the trailer, man. Is there music on these trailers? Definitely. Let's just mute it, man. We're going to look through it. Graphics look superb. Not surprised. In the year 2025, the graphics is not going to make you decide on what's get, getting the game or not. Oh, they got the women's on there, too? Salute. And then they still jag the graphics. It's raining and nobody in the crowd is wet. That's tough. Or well, it was raining. No, it is raining. The player's not even wet. Just clothes not wet, nothing. Not gonna lie, it's crispy graphics though. Y'all know I'm only playing in the Premier League. I got no use for nothing else. It's good to see everything else, though, for sure. I'm just looking at the trailer just because this doesn't determine anything. We need to see gameplay. I want to see if it's, if it's moving smoothly. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to be playing a trash game. I'm going to play it, but... It's next gen, it's PS5, FCIQ. Hold on, I'm talking. Wait, are they talking? <laughs> Absolutely not. They're not explaining anything to me. <clears throat> See, I don't know about this. This is why they shouldn't have did it in the rain. They were trying to prove a point by making it rain, but the players are not wet. The clothes are not wet. Nothing's like you shouldn't even have did it. But the graphics do look good. Graphics are like a, a nine out of a ten. Not a surprise. Nah, I'm not gonna pre order. Sorry. Not gonna pre order. Not gonna do that. Let's go look at the gameplay. There's honestly nothing more important than the gameplay. It has to run very smoothly. This is FC25. With tactics inspired by the greatest minds of the game, more hypermotion from last year's most memorable matches, and new playstyles. Everything you need to win for the club. Introducing FCIQ, a complete overhaul of the game's tactical system where team tactics, player roles, and in-game smart tactics give you more control over how your team moves and plays than ever before. Success in FC is... That sounds good. It sounds good. It sounds like you actually have to be good at the game and you can't let, you can't let the computer control everything. It's not all AI operated and NPC operated. Because you know a lot of players in a lot of sports games like to let the computer do everything and then call themselves good. So this is a good thing. This is a good thing. No longer just about putting in the best player at a position. It's about putting in the right player for the system you want to run. Oh. With FCIQ, team tactics have been modernized at both ends of the pitch. And your teammates are smarter both on and off the ball. Something we're excited about this year is that FCIQ can be used to easily emulate a favorite manager's tactics. Wow, so you actually managing, like you are, like you, not only do I have to play, but I have to think, like I just said, you can't be, you can't let the computer do everything for you. Say for example, instead of a traditional 442 that might feel static or disorganized, 
You can set up your team in a more fluid, balanced style that might alternate between a 4-3-3 and a 4-2-3-1, something close to what you might see under Ancelotti at Madrid. As you Not gonna lie, I don't like how, um, I don't like how, I don't like how Man City plays, but I would formulate my stuff directly after them. And I run with Liverpool, but I will formulate my, <laughs> and I'm trying to win in the game. I don't give a damn what nobody say about this. This is the gameplay. I'm trying to win. I would run my offense like Man U's, and I, and I, but I'm playing with Liverpool. <laughs> Did they used to be two different games? Or no? Or am I bugging out? Did they used to be two different football games? And now there's only one from EA? Role can have multiple focuses. A plus or a plus plus means that the player is either accomplished or world class in that specific player role. That means it's up to you to assign the proper role that fits the player and your strategy. Well, all my players going to be plus plus and they designated roles. I ain't going to be playing out here plus or plus plus. What the to give you a sense of how your team will play, you can check your player's activity maps, detailed descriptions of each player's role, a dynamic summary of your tactic, and even how your team looks with and without the ball. Not going to lie, unless I'm playing like a, um, like a, uh, like a, and what, what, what game mode would you have to be playing for this to even matter? Ultimate team, like you would really, you would have to be playing ultimate team for this to matter, right? Because that if you playing like a, like if you playing like online and you just playing versus players, like this is not gonna matter. They just they just put the starters out there. But if you playing like ultimate team and you get to build your team, or you playing like a, like a manager mode is there a manager mode i don't know i've never played a football game but i'm i'm pretty sure it's just like any any uh sports game as far as the game modes that you could play and when you need it the game will provide in match tactical suggestions based on the current match situation you can even change your team's tactics and focus using the directional pad if you find a tactic you like, you can share it with your friends or followers. I'm not sharing anything, sorry. I'm gatekeeping everything. You know, I'm going to be online, try hard. So I'm going to go online, get it, come back, <laughs> gatekeep it. Using a tactic specific code. FCIQ is also the foundation of gameplay across all modes. We'll go into more detail on career mode in the career mode deep dive, but FCIQ makes team tactics and individual player. <coughs> See, that's what I was talking about. Role is essential to the success of your team. FCIQ will also influence the core systems in career, relating to transfers, scouting, and the youth academy. Meaning, squad building and development uh, goes way beyond man, just OV. They're taking it all the way back. I forgot you can go to the youngers in football. Can't do this in other sports. In clubs, the biggest impact of FCIQ will be on customizing your team's tactics. Club managers and lobby captains will be able to select, create, and customize tactics and choose player roles for the team. These tactics... I guess this would be cool in career mode too. Not just in... Um, influence AI behaviors. Ultimate team. Which in the past have been a challenge for clubs. FCIQ gives players more control over the way their teams are set up. But most importantly, the way their AI teammates play and position themselves. FC25 is the world's game in every sense, which means if it's in the game, it's in our game. We've used volumetric capture to source it. I'm looking like this look real. This is real. Even more real world moments and bring them into That's FC. That's insane. We have real movements, real goals, real styles of play, and of course, real celebrations across over 19,000 players and teams added to FC25. Play styles were a huge success to the game last year, and we're building on that. I'm interested to see the play mo the, the the modes in the game though. Like, is there a park like like in two K where you can go play online and there's a lobby and there's like 
can create a team online. You still, I'm just in curious. FC 25, we're adding new goalkeeper play styles to the game. And there's lots more we're excited about. Professional fouls, new skill moves, visual enhancements across overlays, full body AI mimic. I see my team. Realistic movements in jerseys and materials, and so much more. That's it. And this? I don't care about how the jerseys move. Yes, I do. As much as we complain that we don't care about how the jerseys move, yeah, we do. I guess this is the Rush Deep Dive. I guess these are different game modes that I'm flicking through now. Football is nothing without five aside. FC25 brings the most social way to play every game mode for the first time ever. What is going on here? Introducing Rush Five Aside matches for the game this year. Breno and Danilo, take it away. Rush 5v5 is something completely new to the FC franchise. 5v5 has everything that 11v11 has to offer, but on a smaller pitch. It's a new way to play your favorite modes in FC. While gameplay will feel the same as any match in FC25, there are some notable differences that make Rush special. Each match starts with a new kickoff experience that sees players rushing towards the halfway line to see who can claim. Oh, so this is what I was just talking about, like a park mode, but they call it Rush. So there's 5v5 and there's 11v11. And you can pick, you can play with your homies in that. See, this is what I'm on right here. This is what I'm on. Build my player up, or do you do you have to pick a player that's already existed in a game, or can you like build a player yourself? That's another question that I have. In possession. And to accommodate this smaller pitch, we have changed the offside rules so that a player can only be offside in the attacking third. There are no red cards in rush. When a serious fall happens, blue cards are issued, resulting in a temporary suspension from the pitch. If the opposition scores, the offending player will return to the pitch faster. We learned a lot from past small-sided game modes, which helped shape the design and feel of Rush. Quicker matches, zero long-term fatigue, and a clock that counts down to the final whistle. In the case of a draw, matches go to golden goal, followed by a new kind of 101 penalty shootout. Nike has designed a new custom stadium just for Rush in Ultimate Team and Clubs. We'll have more on that later this summer. Match day feels very different from other experiences. I feel like I'm going to be playing a lot of this in Ultimate Team. This is an FC, with new broadcast overlays, cinematic intros, and new commentary from Fernando Paloma. I just do like everything is going to be a first for me, so I got to figure out how everything And goes. we're underway here. We mentioned this earlier, but Rush is something you can play across every game mode, in clubs, Ultimate Team, and career. In clubs. Ultimate team and career. What's clubs? Ultimate team. Bring in a player from your club and you control that player for the entire match, which makes the experience feel much more personal. It's the perfect complement to the intensity of rivals and champs. And you can continue to earn rewards for your ultimate team squad. Progression in clubs rush is all about playing as a team as well. Prioritizing That's wrong. So it looked like you do create your own player, right? Look. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is what I'm looking to play. Hey, this is what I'm doing. Clubs Rush is all it's about playing demo. as a team as well, prioritizing winning games over individual performances. Every win contributes a victory point to your club's tally, and improves your individual. So, I'm, will I play club and rush, or will I play ultimate and rush? Individual rush rank, taking you one step closer to exciting seasonal rewards. Rush is integrated into Youth Academy in Manager Career, all centered around small-sided Rush games that allow players to have more control over Youth Academy development, taking the traditional skill games training we've had in FC to something more fun to play and more adaptable. The best and possibly most frustrating part of the beautiful game is communication. During the match, you can send quick messages and reactions to your teammates in real- I don't care. Is there no, is there no, so, whoa, 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 whoa. Why would I need this? We can't communicate through game chat? There's no game chat in this mode? Because why would I need to communicate like this and when I, when I could just game chat? Your time. Or 
Use the right stick to signal to your teammates where you want to go. There has to be okay, game that's it. Everything be. that you need to know about Rush. I don't know about the rest of you, but I am ready to play this right now. Welcome back to the world game. Now, what will you do for the club? I like how they incorporate the Twitch streamers in here now. That's lit. I'm not even going to hold you. Salute to FC for that. All right, let's check out Ultimate Team. Ultimate Team in 25 is social. Build your ultimate five-a-side and play with friends, leveled up by FC IQ tactical presets and player role boost, and loads more updates from community requests. Aslan, my guy, take it away. Thanks, Philly. Ultimate Team this year is taking a new shape, as well as building on familiar features you've come to love. Our biggest update to Ultimate Team is the addition of 5v5 matches called Rush. Rush is a brand new five-a-side experience that will give you a new way to build and... Right, right. We were just talking about this and I was just trying to figure out if I'm going to play Rush on Ultimate Team or... Play with others in Ultimate Team. Whether you're by yourself or with friends, matches are always played with four... But it seems like there could be friends on this People one. and an AI goalkeeper on each team. Bring in a player from your club and you'll control them for the entire match. And together, the players you pick will complete team bonuses, earning... Seems like they're trying to make a, like a, like a solid point. They want people to play the 5v5. Because this is supposed to be about Ultimate Team. Everyone rush points. A new way to get rewards in Ultimate Team each week. New rush events will be released throughout the season that will allow you to use different players from your club and earn rewards. It's the perfect complement to the intensity of rivals and champs. FC IQ is completely overhauling tactics in Ultimate Team, giving you more control over how your team. So for this, it seems like for this year, it's like a complete revamp of the game. You know, like every like, I, mean, I don't know for, I'm pretty sure it's the same. For every like football, basketball, sport game, they rehaul the game every so often. And then it becomes like that game is like top tier. You know what I'm saying? When they do the rehaul of the game, that's the year that it's top tier. Then five, six years go by where it's pretty much the same game. Is this the rehaul gear? Behaves on and off the ball. Manager items will now feature tactical presets that make it easier than ever to emulate your favorite manager's tactical setup based on their real life style of play. And with the addition of- yeah, this, this IQ stuff matters in Ultimate Team. This is where it counts. <laughs> player roles, there's even more opportunity. And the player roles. This is where all of that counts because you can get players from anywhere. To customize your players. <coughs> new levels of tactical depth and strategy. And me, I'm paying for my team. Work rates have been replaced by roles and special items released throughout the year can have boosted roles in different positions. In FC25, Evos will be less restrictive, allowing you to use your favorite players more often. Tired of all your evos being green? This year, you can add backgrounds, borders, animations, and even sound effects. I don't think nobody cares about that, do we? Give me the player. It's what the, like that. To your players. And we heard your feedback. We're excited to finally introduce a storage system for untradeable player duplicates, which can be accessed from squad building challenges. We're don't tell me, FC, they listen to the community. Also removing contracts. Players and managers will no longer need contracts to keep playing for your club. We yeah, it's a video game. Let's not be too real on Ultimate Team now. Maybe in career mode, but like Ultimate Team, just let me rock. Made improvements to rivals as well. Weekly rewards will now be based on a new point system. So even if you draw, you'll still progress. And relegation is back. We're decreasing the total number of checkpoints and allowing players to be relegated when competing at the highest divisions. Oh, if you suck at the game, you're gonna know it. That is negative. Live friendlies will no longer use your rival's rank for matchmaking and instead use form, ensuring that players will no longer use... Play online, play with a friend, coach play. Okay. Use your rival's rank for matchmaking right. and instead use form, ensuring that players will always want to compete at their skill level. To round it out, we've got an all-new Ultimate Team Stadium for you to personalize. 
prepared with new broadcast elements that reflect your squad choices and highlight the most dangerous players on the pitch. This stuff matters, man. You look great. Your stadium looks great. Your team plays great. You play great. That's We're great. excited about all these updates between Rush, FCIQ, Cosmetic Evos, and some long-awaited community updates. And while I may not be able to play this that good, I actually was decent at football back in the day uh, when I was a high-level athlete at other sports. You know what I'm saying? Um, now that I'm kind of getting a feel for the game, keep in mind this upcoming weekend is only my third week watching Premier League highlights and things of that nature over on Patreon located in the description below. But um I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. The ultimate team is jam-packed in FC twenty five. We'll see you on the pitch. Oh you absolutely will. This sounds unbelievable. Can't wait to get started. Welcome back to the world's game. What will you do for the club? Not gonna lie, ultimate team sounds like it's the best mode yet, but let me see career mode. To be a legend in the game, you have to take a club to new heights. You have to go where no one else has gone. Career mode in 25 is the most forward thinking in FC history. Real life tactics and situations with live start points, player career with icons, and I'm delighted to introduce women's football to career. Yeah, thanks Mia, let's get into it. FC25 marks a new era for both manager and player career. Players will be able to live out real-world stories from the biggest leagues in the world with live start points. This is the biggest update we've added to career in years. In FC25, you can experience the drama of any team's real-world season. Pick up from where a team or player has left off that week and you'll have to deal with the related league standings, fixtures, injuries and transfers. Or ah, man, career looks kind of entertaining also. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to be a career player or ultimate team player. We got to flip a coin here. I feel like it'll be more entertaining on the career side. It'll be more competitive if I'm doing ultimate team. But at the end of the day, I want y'all to have fun. Start from a special snapshot moment. A curated starting point based on a newsworthy situation at a specific club be it at a manager sacking, a big transfer, a team overperforming, and so on. We've also got loads of new updates across manager mode, driven by FC IQ. I don't know about that manager mode. Just give me the career mode. Like, give me like, let me be a player. Can I make my own plan? That's the question. By way of team tactics and player roles. Do player roles add a dimension to tactics beyond player positions and drive success more than ever. We get it, I, there's IQ, we got career. it on and off the pitch. Picking the right player roles is a key factor across player development, staffing, scouting, training and coaching, and it helps fuel and influence player and squad cohesion. Something our community has been asking for is an update to press conferences. Just a couple of questions for you. So we've used FCIQ to change how these work. To make them more dynamic, reporters will ask questions that are specific to your tactical choices. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is the same thing that was in 2K, uh, NBA. Used to do this too. See, this is what makes it entertaining for everybody else watching. If you like a streamer or a YouTuber who's posting the content, is your players and their roles. I'm not playing for Mandy. I'm playing for Liverpool, though. I'm gonna really be a Liverpool lead. Your answers affect the updated morale system, so managers will have to find the right balance between critique and praise. We've also updated the youth academy, starting with expanding the list of countries that you can send youth scouts to. And once you've identified the next big thing, of course, you've got to develop their talent, which is why we've integrated Rush 5v5 matches into Youth Academy. You can still go from Rush on the career mode too? By playing in Rush so. matches, managers can actively boost youth development over the course of three match tournaments. Win the final, earn the maximum boost, and your next rising star will be that much closer to achieving their first team dream. Watch as your youth squad players physically grow up over the years. You know what, I think I'm going to have to start on career mode to get like good at the game and then eventually like we can start dibbling and dabbling the ultimate team. Because I feel like you got to be good and get the fundamentals and basics down in the game first and this, the career mode will help you do that. You jump dead in the ultimate game, you like me, somebody like me that never played the game, you're going to be like a fish in the water, man, and, and y'all ruthless when it comes to football. Y'all do not care about how much you've previously liked me. 
It don't matter if I make a comment, y'all on my ass, like, God, Lee. We've also added a long requested feature to career gameplay, simulation settings. With it enabled, teams will play a more deliberate style of play, close to what you'd see in a real world football match. Taking it a step further, we've developed a dynamic sim setting that changes the aspects of the AI's play from one game to the next. There's really exciting things happening with player career as well. Player career with icons. Now you can take existing icons and put them in any team of your choice. And really? See them. I'm more of a realistic person. I don't want to take somebody from somewhere else and put it on the form team. alongside play. today's players. We're incredibly excited about this because it unlocks so many new opportunities to evolve career and will have different sets of icons to choose from as the game progresses. In football, a good story is everything. In FC25, we've made it so that players will have more flexibility in setting up their story of their player career. Story. Yeah, this, this is gonna be heat. I can feel it already for myself that this is gonna be great. Lines have expanded to the classic rags to riches story, or following in the footsteps of your parents, or coming expanded to the. And this was my question: the player build type situation, and you can okay. Classic rags to riches story, or following in the footsteps of your parents. Or coming back from a career-threatening injury. The story you select will have an impact. wonder if I can make my player from Chicago. Impact on and off the pitch. From generating reactions on social media to influencing gameplay attributes and playstyles. Further our commitment to representing women's football within FC. In FC 25, we're introducing the world's top five women's leagues into both manager and player career. In That's awesome. Manager career, managers will be able to move freely between managing men's and women. Oh, wait, this is awesome, actually. I signed my daughter up for uh, football. See, I'm that dedicated. I even put my daughter in football so I can really start getting, like, the competitive spirit. You feel me? She starts Friday, whatever. Any day Friday, she's going to be there. Women's teams. And in player career, they can play for any of these top clubs. And finally, across both... She's only three. This is where you start. <laughs> ...modes, we've designed a new visual system that has a slicker and more simple UI with a new suggested task list that helps players with their next important decision. And of course, we've upped social media in That's FC25. Cool. Playthroughs are now... Yeah, I think I'm going to go career mode. Um, yeah, I'm going to go career mode. Career mode seems fun. Very interactive. Gives me a gives me me as the uh, player moments to shine as well. To be funny, <laughs> powered by partnerships with some of the biggest news outlets in football, like Fabrizio Romano, who will be keeping you up to date with all the latest transfer information. Play well, and the fans will wonder if you deserve a statue. Play not so great. I'm definitely getting a statue. And well, they'll let you know. And that's everything new to Korea in FC 25. It looks like a good game. Welcome back to the- I'm not gonna lie. And everything is brand new to me. That's why I came over here to play because, brother, I was not playing NBA 2K again. I haven't played NBA 2K for a couple of years and I got old after 21. Just keep repeating and repeating and repeating. And I've never liked, I'm not even gonna get into it about Madden. I wish there was still 2K, but you know, I know EA is here bringing me the football game, football game, so I'm appreciative. And if anybody wants to, you know, run with me, you know, my PS5, my gamer tag is the lit one, as you see, T-H-E-E-L-I-T-O-N-E. -E -E. Get up with me. Y'all got the 30 more days. I'll be ready.